Hey, what's up? I'm Nizio Cole, and there's been a lot of talk about year two for Watch Dogs Legion, and I'm not entirely convinced that that's going to be happening. Because don't you think they would have said something by now? There hasn't even been a Ubisoft forward for them to announce anything. So, of course, it's always a possibility that they could release something whenever they want. But considering all the DLC has been released for the game, I think this would be a perfect time to talk about some of the things that I want in Watch Dogs 4. The first thing that I want is a music app, and more broadly, just features that were in the previous two watchdogs that they just removed for some inexplicable reason in legion that we all loved and there was no problem with them but especially the music app because it's like there are some actually pretty good songs in the game and i want to be able to choose which ones i want to play for what mood i'm in i mean the radio is fine but sometimes i don't want to listen to a podcast i want to listen to this specific song and the radio doesn't even run in real time it always starts at the beginning of the song each time you get into a car which is a little bit annoying so yeah music app just add it there's no reason not to add it next up at number four i want a more personal storyline with a smaller cast and better character development now i've talked in the past i don't have a problem with the play as anyone system i think that this type of game needed to happen it's never really been done before to the scale that legion did it but i'm looking for a more personal storyline and it doesn't even have to be completely away from the concept of what legion did you could have a cast of maybe four or five people and be able to play as each individual character and each character can have different hacks and different abilities and a whole different movement system so it's like the play as anyone system but on a smaller scale and you have the benefit of getting to know each character very well there's a reason why my favorite characters from legion were the characters that were consistent in every playthrough like sabine and bagley a few weeks ago, I made a video talking about my story concept for Watch Dogs 4 called Autumn Falls. Link will be in the description if you want to go check it out. And that revolves around this concept of having a small group of people and you can rotate through them. You can play as each individual one of them, but there's just much better character development for each one. And I think that would make for a really good game. Number three, we have more gadgets and a traditional tech tree. Maybe it's just me or the layout that they chose for the tech unlock screen in Legion. But it really felt like there weren't that many gadgets, there weren't that many hacks in general. I mean, don't get me wrong, the drones were really cool. I love the spider bot. Spider bot was probably my favorite part of this game as far as gadgets go. But it just felt like there weren't that many compared to the first game and definitely not as many as the second game. I mean, if you just compare the unlock tree from Watch Dogs to Watch Dogs 2 to Watch Dogs Legion, there is a vast difference. And maybe there were actually quite a few upgrades, but they were just presented in a way that made it felt like there weren't that many. In my opinion, Watch Dogs 4 should definitely have a traditional tech unlock tree. And number two, we have a stronger and more consistent theme and storyline. Legion had a consistent theme, like there was this overwhelming dystopian type feeling, but there was nothing really too memorable about this game. Like I'm trying to remember, and there's, you know, I have a bunch of memorable missions from Watch Dogs 1, Watch Dogs 2, Watch Dogs Legion, I have like one memorable mission that's like my favorite mission of the game, that's the mission with Sky Larson. I actually made a video about that last week, but I feel like a lot of the missions in this game just felt kind kind of repeatable. I honestly didn't like the villains as much as I did in Watch Dogs 2 or Watch Dogs 1. And I think maybe that had something to do with the play as anyone system and not having a consistent protagonist. Or maybe there just wasn't enough nuance in the different themes of the game. Like there were a bunch of different storylines in Watch Dogs 2 with a bunch of different rival gangs in San Francisco. And you just don't have that in Legion. Yes, there's the different storylines like Albion and Sirs and Bloom and Broke Attack and Mary Kelly but they just didn't feel that strong and it felt like a lot of the goals of a lot of the different factions in the game just had really similar goals they weren't different enough from each other and I was like confused as to who wants what and I get that Mary Kelly's like a gang and they want uh money I guess the difference between Bloom, Albion, and Sirs are like like, like what's the difference I mean obviously I know there's a difference but there's not much compared to like in the first game we had Damien we had Bloom we had Default who were all very distinct enemies in the game that's different from Legion and at number one we have Blackout now the reason I didn't talk about this when I was talking about them just leaving out features that they had in 
other game modes it's because they like they could have done it and what makes it even more frustrating is that in bloodline aiden pierce has an ability that allows him to make devices all around him go crazy but it isn't blackout and it even uses the same blackout noise from the first game which honestly it's like it's not even worthy of it blackout is like one of the most iconic hacks in the watchdog series when you think of watchdogs you think of the blackout hack it's one of the coolest things and it would have been so cool to black out the entirety of london but they just chose not to do it and that was just really frustrating so i think the main takeaway is don't change things for the sake of changing things if something works and is good and everyone loves it then put it in your next game as well and i think if we get blackout and Watch Dogs 4, that'll automatically make it a 10 out of 10 game. So hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on this. What are some of the features that you want in Watch Dogs 4? Let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.